because in numerator we have x to first power and in denominator we have square root and we have x square so we need to have in numerator derivative of expression which is under square root so first let's calculate this derivative we have 2 plus x minus x square derivative this is equal 1 minus 2x so now we will divide our numerator by derivative of expression which we have in denominator under square root so we will have to divide 6x plus 5 by 1 minus 2x so this is equal we have to divide 6x by negative 2x so it's negative 3 negative 3 times negative 2x is positive 6x negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 now we have to subtract so we have 5 plus 3 is 8 so now we can rewrite our numerator to form let me copy our integral denominator stay the same we have 2 plus x minus x square and in numerator we have negative 3 times 1 minus 2x plus what we get here plus 8 our reminder so this is with respect to x integral now we can rewrite our integral to two integrals it will be negative 3 times 1 minus 2x over square root of 2 plus x minus x square and will be with respect to x plus integral 8 over square root of 2 plus x minus x square with respect to x so this is equal first negative 3 we can put before integral so we have negative 3 times integral of 1 minus 2x over square root of 2 plus x minus x square with respect to x and 8 we can take before integral 2 so it will be 1 over square root of 2 plus x minus x square with respect to x now in first integral in numerator we have derivative of expression which is under square root so we can use formula that this is equal let me remind you of this formula when we have integral of f prime of x over square root of f of x with respect to x this is equal to square root of f of x plus constant c so we will have negative 3 times 2 times square root of 2 plus x minus x square plus constant c1 we can write plus 8 times and we have integral of 1 over because we have under square root negative x to second power so we have to rewrite our integral to form 1 over square root of 1 minus u square with respect to u this is equal r sine of u plus constant to get this form we have to complete square we have under square root expression 
2 plus x minus x squared. So this is equal because we have negative sign before x squared. So we, we can put this before parenthesis and we will have x minus 1 half because we have only x here to second power. And when we take x minus 1 half to second power, it will be x negative x square and next will be positive x and we will have negative 1 4 we have only here 2 so we need to have here at the beginning 2 and 1 4 because when we subtract 1 4 will be only 2 2 and 1 4 we will change to fraction so it will be 9 over 4 now we can rewrite our square root to form 9 over 4 minus x minus 1 half to second power with respect to x. Now we will substitute x minus 1 half by, because we need to have here 1 like in this formula, so we will substitute by square root of 9 over 4 t. So now we have to find derivative of both sides of our equation. So it will be 1 is equal 3 over 2 dt to dx. We will multiply both sides by dx. So we have dx is equal 3 over 2 dt. So now we can rewrite our integral to form. Let me copy the beginning. 3 times 2 is 6. Square root of 2 plus x minus x square plus c1 plus 8. And we have integral of 1 for dx, we will put 3 over 2 dt. And we have square root of 9 over 4 minus x minus 1 half is equal square root of 9 over 4 t we have to second power so now this is equal 6 square root of 2 plus x minus x square plus c1 plus 8 and we have integral 3 over 2 we can put before integral symbol and we have 1 over square root of 9 over 4 minus square root of 9 over 4 to second power so it will be 9 over 4 t square dt so this is equal we can factorize 9 over 4 in denominator under square root so this is equal 6 times 2 plus x minus x square plus c1 2 we can reduce with 4 8 will be 4 so we have plus 12 and we have integral of 1 over square root of 9 over 4 times 1 minus t square dt so this is equal 6 square root of 2 plus x minus x square plus c1 plus 12 and we have integral of square root of 9 over 4 is 3 over 2 and we have square root of 1 minus t square in denominator in numerator we have 1 dt so this is equal we have 6 square root of 2 plus x 
minus x square plus c1 plus 12 and we can take this fraction before integrand and we will flip this because we have this fraction in the numerator so it will be times 2 over 3 and I forgot that we have negative 3 here so I have to put this negative sign before this first expression and next we have integral of 1 over square root of 1 minus t square dt so this is equal we can reduce 3 and 12 will be 4 so we have negative 6 square root of 2 plus x minus x square plus we will put constant at the end so we have plus 8 integral of 1 over square root of 1 minus t square is equal arc sine of t in our example so it will be times arc sine of t plus constant c we can put so this is equal now we have to come back to our substitution t is equal we have to calculate from this equation we have x minus one half is equal square root of 9 over 4 t so now we will divide both sides by square root of 9 over 4 so this we can reduce and we have that t t is equal x minus 1 half over 3 over 2 so we can flip this expression this fraction so it'll be 2 over 3 times x minus 1 half so we can multiply by 2 so t is equal to x minus 1 over 3 so we will have negative 6 square root of 2 plus x minus x square plus 8 arc sine of 2x minus 1 over 3 plus constant c this is my solution